What is a snapshot control file? The snapshot control file is a backup creates before the actual backup starts in order to have a red consistent view of the control file during the backup and during resync catalog. This snapshot control file ensures that backup is consistent to point in time. So if you add a table space after the backup has been started, then the new file will not be backed up. What is the difference between validate and crosscheck command? Validate backup set checks whether backup sets can be restored or not. Crosscheck, go through the headers of the specified file to check if they are on disk or tape. What is the use of control underscore file underscore record underscore keep underscore time? This parameter defines for how many days we want to keep the backup records reusable in the control file. Should we set configure control file auto backup to on or off? And what is its significance? What is the default value? It should be on always. Can we restore a database from obsolete backup? Yes, we can restore a database from obsolete backup. For that, we need to catalog those files explicitly. How can we take RMAN backup in parallel? Yes, we can. Either by mentioning the number of channels or using the parallel parameter. What are the different types of retention policy? Explain about them. Recovery window based retention policies. In the recovery window, Oracle checks the current backup and looks for its relevance backwards in time. Let's say you have set recovery window of seven days. So seven days recovery window doesn't mean that it will delete copies older than seven days. It will re retain the backups in such a manner that you should be able to recover your database to any point in last seven days. Example, configure retention policy to recovery window of seven days. Here our recover window is 7 days. Now assume that you started on July 1st and have taken backups on the 8th, 15th, 22nd and 29th of July. Assuming the current date is the 25th of July, according to the recovery window of 7 days, the point of recoverability goes up to the 18th of July. This means that to ensure the recoverability, the backup taken on 15th will be kept by Oracle so that you can recover up to that point. Redundancy-based retention policies A redundancy-based retention policy specifies how many backups of each data file must be retained. After that the older backup will be obsolete. Configure retention policy to redundancy too. No retention policy means the backups will not be obsolete at all. Configure retention policy to none. What is an incarnation number? When we open the database in reset log, a new incarnation number is created. We can a new version of the database is created. The log suance number resets to 1 and the online redo logs gets a new timestamp and SEN. Difference between backup piece and backup set? Backup set. Logical structure where the backup is stored. It is a logical container. A backup set can store one or multiple database files, files, control files, etc. Do not think physically. One backup set can be stored in one or multiple files. Each of those files is called a backup piece. Usually, one backup set has only one backup piece. Backup piece. Physical structure where the backup is stored. A backup set is composed by one or more physical binary pieces. If you backup to disk, each file generated is a backup piece. How can I take RMAN backup to multiple directory is local file system? Yes, we can do that. What is the difference between max piece size and max set size? Max piece size limits the size of each backup piece. Max it size, maximum size of a backup set. Please remember, the max it size value should be larger than the size of your largest data file. What are th things we can do to improve the performance of RMAN backup? Use of more number of channels. Parallelism. Multi-section size. Let's say there is a requirement that your daily RMAN backup need to be completed within 40 minutes. If it exceeds backup should be stopped automatically? Can we do that? Backup duration command we can use. Backup duration 040 database. What is an image copy in RMAN? 
and image copy backup are exact copies of the data files, including the free space. They are not stored in ARM and backup pieces, but as actual data files, therefore are a bit-for-bit -bit copy. This is usually helpful when you want to move the database from non-ASM to ASM file system. How can we recover from loss of online redo log? In this case, first you need to find what is the status of redo log file that is lost slash corrupt. Your action plan depends upon the redo log file status. What is incomplete recovery? How it works? What are the different types of incomplete recovery scenarios? Incomplete means you don't have all the redo or archives to recover all the committed transactions. I.E. We need to slash want to re-recover the database to a specific point in time in past. So alternatively incomplete recovery is called as point in time recovery. We do incomplete recovery in two cases. You don't have all the redo re to perform a complete recovery. You're missing either archive redo log files or online redo log files, current or unarchived. That are re for complete recovery. This situation could arise because the re redo files are damaged or missing. You purposely want to roll the database back to a point in time. For example, you would do this in the event somebody accidentally truncated a table and you intentionally wanted to roll the database back to just before the truncate table command was issued. Can we, we restore one table or table partition from our man backup? Explain how it works internally? Yes, from 12C onwards we can do it. Can we change the bid to a value of our own choice? Yes, we can do it. What is the use of nafalenomachek command in rman duplication command? Nafalenomachek prevents rman from checking whether the data files and online redo logs files of the source database are in use when the source database files share the same names as the duplicate database files, see example 2 to 73. You are responsible for determining that the duplicate operation will not overwrite useful data. This option is necessary when you are creating a duplicate database in a different host that has the same disk configuration, directory structure, and file names as the host of the source database. For example, assume that you have a small database located in the slash dbs directory of host1. Slash oracle slash dbs slash system underscore prodv. Slash oracle slash dbs slash users underscore prodv. Slash oracle slash dbs slash rbs underscore prodv. Assume that you want to duplicate this database to host2, which has the same file system, slash oracle slash dbs slash asterisk, and you want to use the same file names in the duplicate database as in the source database. In this case, specify the nafalenema check option to avoid an error message. Because rman is not aware of the different hosts, rman cannot determine automatically that it should not check the file names. If duplicating a database on the same host as the source database, then make sure that nafalenema check is not set. Otherwise, rman may signal the error. Suppose you are running an active duplication from a database of 40 terabytes. And after 95% of cloning is completed. It failed due to network error? Do we need to start the cloning again from start? Here we can see that the restore completed successfully. After that, the duplicate created the control file with only the system data file. It then performed a switch data file all to add the rest. When it started the recover step, I aborted it. So, how can we resume that? First, we need to finish the recovery. Let's open again the ARM and connecting to auxiliary, target and catalog servers, if present, and then rerun the recovery step. Note below that I allocate the auxiliary channel again and the dtest must remains in mount state. ARM and run. 2. 3. Allocate auxiliary channel T1 type SBT underscore tape. 5. Set until time to underscore date 2015-01-0600 colon 00 colon 00. YYYAMMDDHH24 me SS. 6. Recover. 7. Clone database. 8. Delete archive log. 9. 10. SL alter database open reset logs. Database altered. We need to duplicate a big file table space of size 500 gigabytes. Can we use multiple channels to improve the speed? 
Is there any other option to improve the performance? During duplication, only one channel is allocated for each data file. So even if we allocate five channels, only one channels will be used to do the duplication. So it will not improve the speed. So in this case we can use the section size attribute in the duplicate command. Let's say the section size we defined is 1G and we have 10 channels. So during duplication the data file will be broken into section size of 1 gigabyte. And each channel will process one section size, i.e. all 10 channels will be active in parallel with each processing 1 gigabyte data. Command. Rman duplicate target database to test underscore db from active database section size 1024m. Difference between restore and recover? Restore, it is the act that involves the restoration of all files that will be reured to recover your database to a consistent state. For example, copying all backup files from a secondary location such as tape or storage to your stage area. Recovery, it is the process to apply all transactions recorded in your archive logs. Rolling your database forward to a point in time or until the last transaction recorded is applied, thus recovering your database to the point in time you need. Someone deleted some data from a table five minutes back. Databa database is archive log mode, but flashback mode is not enabled. Can we retrieve the table data? Yes, we can recover that table only if undo is enabled. You can overcome this by increasing the retention time. For example, to increase it to one day, run. Alter system set undo underscore retention equals 86,400 scope equals both. Oracle uses the undo table space to run flashback URIs. So increasing the retention means you'll need to make this larger to support flashback. This could lead to a big jump in storage requirements. Flashback table table to before drop. Can I take the full backup from primary and incremental backup from standby? Yes, we can take backup from standby and primary database, as both the databases are same and have the same bid. Can we duplicate a database by skipping few table spaces? Yes, we can skip few table spaces. But we cannot skip system, sysox, undo or any table space containing sys objects. For a schema, its tables are under table space data and its indexes are under table space IDX. Now if I run arm and duplicate by skipping IDX table space, what will happen? Will it work? So we cannot skip IDX table space. As this is not a self-contained table space I.E., there is a dependency between objects in data and IDX table space. So either we need to skip both or we need to duplicate both. How can we check the integrity of RMAN backup? Validate command can be used to check the integrity of the RMAN backup. What is difference between consistent backup and inconsistent backup? Consistent backup. A consistent backup of a database or part of a database is a backup in which all red slash write data files and control files are. Checkpoint with respect to the same system change number, SCN. Oracle determines whether a restored backup is consistent by checking the data file headers against the data file header information contained in the control file. IN, IN consistent backup. An inconsistent backup is a backup in which all red slash write data files and control files have not been checkpoint with respect to the same SCN. For example, one read slash write data file header may contain an SCN of 100 while other read slash write data file headers contain an SCN of 95 or 90. Oracle cannot open the database until all of these header SCNs are consistent, that is, until all changes recorded in the online redo logs have been applied to the data files on disk. Currently we have 30 days of archive logs present, so use delete archive log all completed before sysday3 to delete files older than 3 days. But this command is not deleting files older than 14 days. Why? You need to check your control underscore file underscore keep underscore recrud underscore time. If this is set 14 days, then only 14 days archive information will be stored in the control underscore file. If archive logs are older than 14 days, its related information will be removed from control underscore file. So when we use rman it gets data from control file as only 14 days information is present in control underscore file. rman delete command will ignore files older than 14 days.